Blessed Gregory, raised upon the throne of Peter, sought always the beauty of the Lord and lived in celebration of that love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. For us to celebrate these sacred mysteries worthily, we first acknowledge our sins, be sorry for them, then we ask for the mercy of God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And let us pray. O God who care for your people with gentleness and rule them in love, through the intercession of Pope Saint Gregory, in though we pray the spirit of wisdom, those to whom you have given authority to govern, that the flourishing of a holy flock may become the eternal joy of the shepherds, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, let no one deceive himself. If anyone among you considers himself wise in this age, let him become a fool so as to become wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness in the eyes of God. For it is written, God catches the wise in their own ruses. And again, the Lord knows the thoughts of the wise, that they are vain. Let no one boast about human beings, for everything belongs to you. Paul or Apollos or Cephas, or the world or life or death or the present or the future, all belong to you and you to Christ and Christ to God. The Word of the Lord. To, God. to the Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it. To the Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness the world are those who dwell in it for he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers who can ascend the mountain of the lord or who may stand in his holy place he whose hands are sinless whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. To the Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. To the Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it. Please all stand to honor the Holy Gospel. Alleluia, Alleluia. Come after me, says the Lord, and I will make you fishers of men. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. After Jesus left the synagogue, he entered. While the crowd was pressing in on Jesus and listening to the word of God, 
He was standing by the lake of Gennesaret. He saw two boats there alongside the lake. The fishermen had disembarked and were washing their nets. Getting into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, he asked him to put out a short distance from the shore. Then he sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. After he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into deep water and lower your nets for a catch. Simon said in reply, Master, we have worked hard all night and have caught nothing, but at your command I will lower the nets. When they had done this, they caught a great number of fish, and their nets were tearing. They signaled to their partners in the other boat, to come to help them. They came and filled both boats, so that the boats were in danger of sinking. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at the knees of Jesus and said, Depart from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For astonishment at the catch of fish they had made, seized him and all those with him. And likewise James and John, the sons of Zebedee, who were partners of Simon. Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on you will be catching men. When they brought their boats to the shore, they left everything and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I remember during this uh, lockdown, I think last March, April, May, uh, we started to uh, provide something for our community. But uh, I remember there's no more masses, no sacraments at the time. So, uh, our uh, funds were depleting, depleting so fast. And uh, I still remember there was this challenge from Rome, one of the cardinals, this was, he, he's in charge of the uh, taking care of the, uh, taking care of the uh, indigents in Rome. He challenged, he challenged not only the cardinals, but I think he was challenging all of us. Why don't we give our one month allowance for the taking care for the needs of the needy, the indigents in our community? I took the challenge. Wala na gidya upos na gidya mong funds regularly. No, in normal situations, ga deficit kami. How much for sa pag lockdown? Wala na gin. But I think ko okay lang. I take the challenge, so I gave. No, I bought for the goods para sa community. Ang ako ng allowance isa kabulan. No, upos niya na nalabunan pa ko. Pero pagkatapos siya, I never expected. Nagsiling akong uh, sekretary si June, sila niya, Der, wala na taalawans. Wala na taalawans. <laughs> so, yung ko, ay, wala galik. Eh, anyway, sila ko, sige lang ha. That's all. Tay, ano, tala. Wala na gin. No? Eh, so, all that we have is simply to pay our, what called the, uh, uh, operating expenses, mga bills namun. Pro, Sinyan, last na leader. Sinyan ko, te, kung wala, te, pulit ta, eh. Manirata simbahan, eh. And we have to tell the ecclesiastical authority, te, wala na. Hindi na kami kabay ko rin, te, hindi kami tanan. Sinadhan na lang nila mo ng simbahan, then I have to go home. Muna lang na. But wala yung regret. Wala nga, no, ay, mga tani, wala ko. Well, you know, my dear friends, coming to the end of our resources, well, this uh, has a very important message and uh, I have experienced it that for us Christians it is important to come to the end of our resources 
maybe the standard of the world, sa human standard, hindi na importante na makadabot ka sa katapusan na lang uh, ginhawa ni mo, sa katapusan na kinanglano ni mo. Hindi na gani kadelikado na iya. Pwede lang gani iya. You must have something extra. Panigurado. Panigurado. But to come to the end of our resources, maubos-ubos nga wala ka ni Gidlang, dobos wala ka na iya, hindi na importante. Importante manigurado ka. But that is the wisdom of God. The wisdom of God, true wisdom, is God's logic. Though it may be illogical in the human standard, but what is important, true wisdom, is God's logic, not human logic. All, most of the time, the logic of God is illogical in human standard. Kabuangan sa tao, ang kaalam sa Diyos. Kabuangan. Pero I tell you, my dear friends, for us Christians, maybe in one or other forms, God will challenge us and He will give us experience of being at the end of our own resources. It's very important. Very important. Because there we will experience the recognition of who God is in our life. Sino ganit lang Diyos sa kabuhita? Kung ara ka na sa ubus-ubus, makita mo gid, you will experience how good God is, how merciful God is, how gentle God is. And this experience is also an experience, actually, of St. Therese, of the child Jesus. You read, you read ang biography ni St. Therese. Because ang friend's biographer niya, ang nagsulat sa kabuhin ni St. Therese, ginahambal niya si Ney. He said, and I quote from Saint Therese, she said, Jesus allowed pitch darkness. Ang pitch dark, ang pitch na blang, ang kadulong sang lagdo, o na muna kaigig, kadulong-dulong, kaitong-itong, ang muna sila Saint Therese, kaagigid siya niya. Siya, Jesus allowed pitch darkness to sweep over my soul. I wish I could express what I feel, but it's impossible. One must have traveled through the same sunless tunnel to understand how dark it is. There is a wall which towers to the sky and hides the stars. Amun experience niya. Coming to the end of her resources. Kadulong-dulong kaayo. Wala nang isa makita siya. Kag hindi iman mahambal ang iyan eksperensyahan, kay it's beyond words. Niya, may eksperensyahan mo na, may insindihan mo na ang iyan kung kung may eksperensyahan mo man. Kang esprisyahan ta man ini. But the next, the next, the next thing, ang muling amazing kay St. Therese. Wala sa napabilin nga nangin frustrated siya. Wala sa napabilin nga he was angry, she was angry. Wala sa napabilin nga she was blaming God. Wala. When she reached the end of her resources, when she was at the end of her rope, ang muling part niya very important. That's why the wisdom of God many times is illogical in human wisdom, in human standard, kabuangan. Pero ang muli niya ang importante sa ato ng Kristiyano niya, sila niya, I have never felt so strongly how gentle and merciful God is. Her recognition that when she was at the end of her rope, when she experienced that she was at the end of her resources dahil nakita ko na ano kaayos ang Diyos. She experienced that God was telling her, Trust in me, St. Therese. Trust in me. Isn't that also the experience of Peter in today's Gospel reading? When Peter told Jesus, We have done everything. We have exhausted our resources all day, all night. We caught nothing. But Jesus was simply asking Peter, Could you trust me, Peter? Masaligan mo ko. Salig ka pa kung sa katapusan, wala ka nagin. Gapati ka pa kung nga ang Diyos maayo. Would you still believe that God is still good? God is still generous? Would you still believe? Mapati ka pa na? Kung ubus-ubus na ginang imo nga 
Imo mo resources, wala pa naging mapati ka pa nga may Diyos? Would you still believe that there's still God who does not does not abandon us? Would you still believe? And Peter tried, gintilawan niya, tistingan tabi, kung tuod magiging nga may Diyos pa. Ubos na kinya, wala rin kami sa makuha. And then, uh, Peter recognized so strongly God is gentle and merciful. I continue the words of St. Therese now, God sent me His heavy cross just the time when I was strong enough to bear it. Now, she concluded, nothing now hinders me. She's no longer afraid when she would reach the end of her resources. When she would always reach the end of her rope, she's no longer afraid. She said, I no longer want anything except to love until I die of love. I am free and fear nothing. Her experience of recognizing freedom and is what we need in life. To be free from fears, fears that are not healthy in our life. God will allow us to experience the end of our resources to grant us something more important that we need, more than material resources that we need. We need something that we, that we could live by at all times, in season and out of season. Si Saint Therese experienced this. Her friend's biographer said it was characteristic of her. Say so all the time, most of the time, she experienced at the end of her resources. Hindi lang isa. Madamo abi sa kabuhi sa interest of the child she's only so, na she would always be at the end of her resources. Why? Sila because she would always give everything she had. Wala na sa nahadlo. She would always give everything she had. And because she would always give everything she had, now, she would always put herself vulnerable. We fear. We are afraid to be vulnerable. Hadlo kita makita sa iban. Ipakita sa iban ang vulnerability ta. Kung pwede lang, we will cover ourselves that will show that we are self-sufficient. We are strong. But to the point that we forget God, to the point that we no longer remember God, to the point that we don't believe anymore in God, we believe in ourselves. We believe in ourselves. But remember, whatever you do, you still have limitations. Kompleto ka man, dumdumun mo ka, masakit ka. At kung magmasakit ka, daw madumduman, may Diyos gali. Ano nung pang kwarta, Hindi nakabulong, hindi na makasabat kung ga masakit ka na hindi na masarangan sa mga doktor. We will still have our own limitations, vulnerabilities. God is telling us, don't be afraid when you're vulnerable, when you're open to the experience of having at the end of your rope, experiencing end of your resources. There is still God. There is still more because of God. That's why in my experience, I think, God is bigger than church. If, if in this experience, we'll be having our church closed, okay lang na. Because God is bigger than the church. God is still there. Maski magsira pang simbahan, ang Diyos ara ihapon. Hindi niya madula ang Diyos. Maski manira pa ang simbahan, ara ihapon ang Diyos. Nothing to be afraid of because God is there and He will never abandon us. These are all passing experiences. And we today remember St. Gregory the Great. He ranks as one of the highest in relation to other popes. St. Gregory, he was considered not only a spiritual leader, a church but also a civil leader, he would always provide, give advice, and help the civil authorities. From the resources of the church, 
properties, he provided for the needs of the poor during his time. He wrote many books about morality. He was a good preacher. He was a good administrator. But still, even though he led the whole community, the whole society in his time, in his limited place, to its greatness, St. Gregory publicly he confessed, very important. He said, I have not always fulfilled my responsibility with diligence. Santo Papa na siya ha. Pero in all honesty, sinin niya, I have not always fulfilled my responsibilities with due diligence. The humility of a person given a very important responsibility and authority. But he said, I too, I have my own limitations and vulnerabilities. But even though he said not all the time he was diligent in fulfilling responsibility as a Pope, makita natin ang pag-uswag sa tao. Still, the people flourish. The community flourish. Why? Because there is God. There is God. There is more beyond our limitations. There is more beyond our vulnerabilities. So with this, be reminded, supposedly, there will be no more physical participation of people in the Mass. May misa, pero wala na tao. So be reminded, uh, our beloved Bishop, uh, will be sending a letter for us uh, starting uh, September 1 actually wala na sang participation so you might be surprised wala sang misa para sa inyo until matapos the GCQ I don't know uh, until when but I will still have to read the letter of the bishop basta wala na Saturday, Sunday wala misa unless ang exception Requem mass, mass for the dead, than other sacraments like baptism. Pero bisa, we will have just simply live streaming, but no physical participation from you for the time being. When our Savior says, Come, follow me, He also calls us to follow His example of prayer, to throw wide a net of prayer for others. Let us pray in that generous way. Divine Master, help us to launch into that deep. Divine Master, help us to launch into the deep. That the Holy Father, the bishops, priests, and all who have been called to be fishers of men may have the courage and perseverance to cast their nets in deep waters. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Master, help us to launch into the deep. That fishermen and all those who work at sea may have a harvest of God's bounty. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Master, help us to launch into the deep. That we may have the courage to tell unbelievers the good news of our Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Master, help us to launch into the deep. That the Lord may touch the lives of the sick, the sorrowing, and those who suffer in mind and body. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Master, help us to launch into the deep. That those who have died in Christ may receive their eternal reward. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Master, help us to launch into the deep. In silence, we pray for a petition of people who we promise to pray for. Lord of all people, through these prayers gathered together the lives of those seeking to follow your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen.
Bless are you, Lord God of all creation, for the goodness we have received, the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, to become our spiritual drink. Pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Grant our supplication, we pray, O Lord, that this sacrifice we present in celebration of Saint Gregory may be for our good, since through its offering you have loosed the offenses of all the world, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let Lord. us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. Through Christ our Lord. First on the festival of St. Gregory, you bid your church rejoice. So to you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of his preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. And make holy therefore these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. And therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Patricia, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Also remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Gregory the Great, Saint Sebastian, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is Yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be Thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy be always free from sin safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ has said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Offer Father the sign of peace. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be. This is the steward, faithful and prudent, whom the Lord set over his household to give them their allowance of food at the proper time. The body of Christ. Amen.
we pray. Through Christ the teacher, O Lord, instruct those who feed with Christ the living bread, that on the feast day of Saint Gregory, they may learn your truth and express it the words of charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. We pray to Raja Imperata, God our Father. We come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has claimed lives and has affected many. We pray for your grace for the people tasked with studying the nature and cause of this virus in its disease and of stemming the tide of its transmission. Guide the hands and minds of medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion and of those government and private agencies that must find cure and solution to this pandemic. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Grant us the grace to work for the good of all and to help those in need. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Very help of all Christians. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. Saint Rock. Pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Rubis. Pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungso. Pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with yours. And God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. We all go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.